authorizes e-cigarettes to stay on the U.S. market. The agency approved three Fuse vaping products, saying the benefits of helping smokers out and helping them quit outweighs the risks of hooking youths. But not everyone agrees, including those who sell the products. Crystal Bowie is live in Atlanta with local reaction for us tonight. Crystal. Sean, this is one of the out here in Atlanta sells that e-cigarette brand. Now, I talked to those inside and they told me they were glad it was approved, but they do not want this to be a message to kids that it's okay to try e-cigarettes. Three views vaping products authorized by the FDA, made by the world's biggest cigarette company, R.J. Reynolds. I mean, um, I was always against actual cigarettes. Products approved are strictly tobacco flavored and some contain as much nicotine as a pack of cigarettes. I've been vaping um, and using the e-cigarette for about a good eight years now. I mean, I used to smoke cigarettes and I feel a complete difference. But without flavors like cotton candy, the FDA is gambling on the idea that youth won't be sucked in, hoping instead that e-cigarettes will help adults quit smoking. But the concern from some is that this approval will send the wrong message. I got nieces and nephews, so when I saw my niece in the hands of a round of jewel, that kind of put fear to me. Smoke shop sales associate Jalen Allen also supports the approval for adult use. This is allowing those people to have a little more control over their addiction that they already have. But Allen says kids don't let this be an excuse to start an addiction. As far as the kids are concerned, they need to leave these alone just because it's not necessary. The Georgia Department of Health reports more than a quarter of high school students use e-cigarettes. And the CDC, as of February 2020, more than 2,800 people have been hospitalized or died from vaping. Now, of that 2,800 people, 15% were under 18 years old. I reached out to the Georgia Department of Education for comment, and they did not respond. Reporting live in Atlanta tonight, Crystal Bowie, CBS 46 News. Crystal, thank you. A vaccine